Well, I don't, yeah. I guess I don't know if they're like now playing Legends of Runeterra instead. Not everybody has like a, an account that can play that game yet even, right? A lot of streamers are able to play it. I have an account that can play it. I checked out the tutorial and got through the tutorial and landed in the main page and looked at deck building and was just like, no, I don't have any interest in trying to do, trying to build a deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looks like we're gonna die to slime boss. So that's fun. You recently beat Ascension 20 Heart with Ironclad and Defect, but can't seem to get a win with Silent and often die in Act 1. If you're dying in Act 1, usually that's a symptom of not taking enough damage cards. Stuff like Dagger Throw and Dagger Spray and Quick Slash. Cards that aren't necessarily good later on in the game, but are very important to add to your deck early in the game. And then after that, you just, like, go intangible for 12 turns or whatever. LOL. Balanced class. I'm not sure if I meant to, like, be like, oh yeah, Legends of Runeterra looks very brave and interesting, or, like, I don't... From like a being a content creator standpoint, I have my own personal reasons that the game just doesn't really appeal based on how I play card games, which aren't necessarily going to make sense for other people who don't play card games like I do. I could do the like diplomatic, oh yeah, I, it's just not for me. I could do that sort of thing. I just sort of feel like, <laughs> sort of feel like it's really not a very good game in this case though, that's all. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will be shown that I am wrong. For what it's worth, I don't think Hearthstone's a very good game either. And that's certainly a game that's been very successful in which a lot of people enjoy playing, so. Maybe I'm just not the target audience for this sort of game. Ooh, Glass Knife. Ooh, Glass Knife. Ooh, Crippling Cloud? Oh my, this is like, wow. Do I take the one in seven shame? Is of how good Crippling Cloud is. Maybe I should. I already have a Glass Knife and a Dagger Spray. <sighs> I think I don't. It would have been shame. Oh, well, I got it anyway. Nice. You feel like I don't have to be as diplomatic when my content is released in six plus hour chunks every day, much less risk of anyone noticing. Oh, that's that's a good point. Nobody's actually like listening to anything I say, right? I can just say whatever. Fourteen. So I could take four, or I could play Crippling Cloud and Glass Knife and Oh wait, this deals Wow, that card is strong. Damn, all right. Savage Redcoat, thanks for the 10 months. I'm gonna show you as well. What do I dislike in Hearthstone gameplay? Oh, I think the gameplay of Hearthstone is completely fine. It's the, uh, it's the other stuff. The, the stuff about, like, collection building and crap. I don't... Like, I play Slay the Spire a ton, right? And I play, like, XCOM, and I play FTL. The games I play are games where you get a finished product, and then you get to play it, and it's really fun to play. 
And that is what you spend your time doing. And there are so many games which are like trying to gamify getting the product that you get to play. And I just think they're like not good. I am impressed by the patience that people have to be able to put up with that to eventually get to the gameplay. Not a fan of MTG. Well, my experience playing MTG, which was somewhat unique, was that when I was quite young, I had friends who had very significant collections on Magic Online and I could just borrow cards from them if I wanted to play a deck. And then I was also good at Magic the Gathering, so I like borrowed a deck from one of them and played it and constructed. And I also had a lot of time, because I was like a teenager. Um, and so I like got to play the deck that I wanted at the start, and then I got enough money on Magic Online that I could just like play whatever other deck I wanted whenever I wanted. And, uh, you know, that was cool. I, I enjoyed that. That's what I'm hoping to get out of any other card game that I play. And then I like played poker. Obviously in poker, there's no like gamified unlocking of the cards. It's not like you don't get the Ace of Hearts until you've paid them 300 bucks or whatever. I think a power potion for this fight. Is that when I joined the Magic the Gathering podcast? The Magic the Gathering podcast was like 10 years after that. That was after I played Magic all through high school and college and then after I did poker professionally as well. Remember a while ago, I said that playing games against other players isn't as enjoyable because I spent so much time playing poker, which is very adversarial. Yeah, I don't... For me, playing against other players is definitely not a selling point for a game. Usually that immediately makes me think the game will be less fun. Because it means I have to wait for the game to pair me against somebody else. It means sometimes the person I'm going to play against is going to be a jerk. I have to put up with like other people. The like proving your metal and battle to the death against other human beings is just not really a compelling narrative to me for gameplay. The moral of the MTG story is I wouldn't have liked the game if I hadn't been lucky enough to have my first decks given or lent to me. Uh, probably not. A lot of people, like their complaint with MTG is that it's really hard to get the best cards and if you don't have the best cards you can't compete with the people who do have them and that's like a super reasonable complaint about MTG. One million percent reasonable. So, I just got lucky and was one of the people who got to have the cards. <laughs> and I do try to be, I do try to be like cognizant of the fact that I was pretty fortunate to be in that situation when I'm thinking about how much, how much enjoyment I got out of MTG. But like, when you're talking about somebody getting to do that in Hearthstone, like, you can't, right? You're not allowed to share accounts, and you can't trade cards between accounts. I guess maybe you could be like, my older brother is a, a Hearthstone pro and buys all the cards and lets me play on his account. Maybe you could be in that sort of situation. I don't really know. I don't, don't know how that works exactly. Thanks, T-Rex. That's illegal. Not illegal, but against the TOS. Let's be real. It's illegal. I'm, re I'm raising a, a band of rebellious 
near do wells. I've never said the word near do wells out loud before, I don't think. What a great word, near do wells. <laughs> you're gonna watch this stream and you're going to go out into the world and do illegal things. Like borrowing people's accounts on Hearthstone in order to play the deck that you want to play. The Smiling Mouse stack with career membership card, it overwrites them. It overwrites them. All right, we did open the stream with Rage Against the Machine. I'm gonna take the Catalyst because I already have two Crippling Clouds. Although I think the Crippling Cloud is the sort of card that actually is sort of better if you have a third one. Hard to imagine having too many Crippling Clouds. Probably like seven is where I'm starting to be like, oh yeah, that's quite a lot of Crippling Clouds. I think we can beat the heart right now. I guess I buy the duplication potion because I have a wraith form and like I like I legitimately actually can beat the heart. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Application potion catalyst could be good as well, it's true. Bit of brain off clicked footwork. Yeah, we have not a whole lot of reasons for footwork to be good in this run at the moment. Well laid plans. Oh my. Is well laid plans even good with wraith form? Probably not. Hard to imagine that it would be. Am I gonna die next turn? Might die next turn. Heard that if you don't end the fight before the intangibility from Wraith Form runs out, you just die, so that's too bad. It was good while it lasted. So the reason that I haven't upgraded Wraith Form is that I have to kill the slime boss. I think the way that I'm going to kill the slime boss is with a Catalyst Plus and a Crippling Cloud Plus, probably. I don't think that the Wraith Form Plus really helps that much. After I've played my Crippling Clouds and don't have them anymore, my deck doesn't really, like, do anything. I need to make sure that we get a good Catalyst off of it all. 24, 56. This will be a pretty good next turn.
Alright. Burst does seem like it could be okay here. Now I don't want to get out of line. <laughs> but I feel like burst could be alright. You think skip, Sora. You would skip over grand finale here. Grand finale is the brave play there. Re, thanks very much for that five month song Bamushu to you as well. Grand finale is the play for winners. Burst is the play for... What's the word for people who aren't figuratively winners, but do, in fact, literally win the run? Like, nerds. I think, right? Nerds? Grand Finale is the play for nerds. No, no, no. Gra <laughs> Burst is the play for nerds. I'm sorry. I got confused. Lucker noobs. <laughs> sure. I take Busted Crown. I sort of want another Wraith form. I'll just take Sozu. It's fine. We've got an attack potion for a nasty elite fight and then our duplication potion. I'm like legitimately just going to keep that until we have to fight the heart. Tryhards. There you go. Tryhards. A good red blooded American insult. You actually tried to do well? Ew. We just call them sweaty now? Oh, I didn't know that. Farm's gotta be good here, I think. So we took one instead of nine. Maybe it wasn't good. Now I'm taking three instead of nine. Now we're taking eight instead of five. I'm still plus three health. Yeah, it did end up being good. Predator is interesting. Dodge and rolls. Okay. I might take a dodge and roll. I actually sort of wish that I bought the footwork last act. Humes is all right. <laughs> Attic attack. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. I'm going to show to you as well. It's the vicious cycle. Once you have one wraith form, you cannot stop. You need more. You can actually stop, though, after you get two, because once you have two, you can win every single fight in the entire game, so... <laughs> so, while I, while I understand and I'm sympathetic toward your general argument, in this case, I do feel that it eventually falls short. I'm 
Hugaboomu show to you too, Acid Vega. Hope you're doing well. I got a couple of upgrades that I need. I'm just gonna grab those right now. Oh, Toxic Egg could be fun. Fumes or Cloud? Or plans. Well laid plans to try to get a really good burst turn. I think fumes is maybe a little bit better for the collector fight. Well, cool. good fight. Close one. Everything's upgraded. Cloak and Dagger is probably not quite what I want in this one. I think Dodge and Roll is great. I think that like Leg Sweep is one of the best possible cards I could see. But Cloak and Dagger, eh, not convinced by right now. When the merchant removes cards from your deck, does the merchant get the cards in the merchant's deck? It's a good question. A lot of people have asked that question before, actually. The answer is no. The merchant does not get any cards. Why is leg sweep good? Because it blocks for like 70 billion for one energy. Disclaimer, what I just said might not be true. Um, <laughs> it's just a, a card that blocks for a lot. Sinister Hologram, thanks for the three months of the Hogbomu show to you as well. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Faven. We don't actually have very much weak in the deck relative to like the time eater. Well, time eater dies right away. Relative to the awakened one fight though. We don't actually have that much weak. The awakened one fight currently looks like probably the hardest fight in the game. So we wanna make sure that the things that we are doing are good in that fight. I feel like I can just play Wraith form. Do I just test that theory? Let's just test that theory. Seems like a big number. Yeah, I tried to watch Jorps' stream, but he was just saying random numbers. Didn't work out what was going on. Sort of killed it for me. Oh, 
Made brick. Thanks for the 14 months. I'm going to show to you as well. Die, 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 and venom. Venom. Or storm of steel plus. This one's a skip. I don't need any of that crap. I think that five energy is not terrible. I think that astrolabe might be better than it. I actually sort of don't hate Ring of the Serpent right now. I also don't hate Coffee Dripper. I think all three of these are better than skipping, pretty clearly. Not sure which of them is the best. Astrolabe's always pretty difficult to evaluate properly. I have Bag of Prep, that's true. Instead of drawing nine cards on turn one, I could draw eight cards on turn one. A notable improvement. Wait, that's worse. Wait, I'm confused. I'm confused. Lastrolabe well, always upgrades all of its cards, Wadi. Pandora's box is the one that gives you unupgraded transforms. Hey, Demodius. Um, I sort of like the five energy. I can just put acrobatics and backflips in my deck and get the card draw that way. That seems good. What's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. 842. Burst needs an upgrade. I don't think Burst is. Well, I think at this point, Burst is a very good upgrade. I don't think it has needed an upgrade before this point, though. I need a super elite before campfire. Oh wait, I can't even rest at campfires. Oh, it's all gone wrong. If I remember the last time I took Storm of Steel. Nope. But I, like, also don't remember the last time I took Crippling Cloud, and it was this run, so... I'm not sure that that really says much. <laughs> Bullets are a bit of fun here. We're locking. How's the mod going? Um, we just need some project pro progress working on it. I'm not doing any of the coding and stuff. But if you're curious to see, the Jorb Spire mod character thread in Discord has a lot of information about what's going on. And nib set up for next fight. Looks good. Now I'm gone. 
I pended. Probably get that back sometime in Act 4. There aren't a lot of um, attacks in this deck. Not a single backflip offered this run. Yeah. I don't believe so. But that looked really weird. Uh, could take another Caltrops. Pass, I guess. So we can burst Catalyst turn one. That seems huge. I just do this, right? Seventy, big number. Take one. I don't think I have to take one. But there's a chance that next turn I would take four. It's better to just take one now. The burst upgrade. Wait, no, it still wouldn't have done anything. Take that dodge roll plus. I think it seems fine. First upgrade would have saved me one damage. Oh. Unlucky. Backflip's a really nice pickup. We also got a blue candle. Just for fun. Just in case. Never know when you could use a blue candle. There's no exclamation mark dig command. That seems really unlikely. Did the bot Can break? you teach me how to fix sleep schedules? What's our plan for woke bloke BTW rate form pellets? What's the plan for woke bloat? Probably like find a footwork. Oh yeah. The bot seems to have null pointer exception. That's unlucky. <laughs> That's just bad luck, I guess. Nothing to be done about it. Some of the stuff that I'm doing with the bot, like point set files, which are being edited sometimes, and then I can't read them if they're being edited, and I haven't done anything at all whatsoever to like catch that error, and then basically the entire world blows up. The right twist to the story is I'm pretty sure that the bot is the thing that's editing them too, so it's like you know, killing itself, sort of. Take a deadly poison. Feel like we could use one of those. I just don't have any sustain at all, do I?
No potions, no resting, no relics that sustain, no cards that sustain. It's a bit rough. After image seems okay. There's a membership card, but I can't afford it. It's like rain on your wedding day. the first relic is the regular silent starter relic oh in the store you probably meant in the store i have no idea <laughs> oh cloak clasp i think it was cloak clasp which is a new relic which blocks for every card in your hand at the end of the turn Gives you one block for every card left over. by your own petard. Heal to full HP. That's interesting. Seems correct. Yeah, because I have Duplication Pot Wraith Form for the Heart Fight, so we don't need that much max HP for the Heart Fight, as long as other things go well. Just Wraith form. Do I have fumes in play? No. But I can get rid of the debuff from it pretty soon. I can just never get rid of the debuff from it, actually. Feels what I know. I've been diligently taking attacks out of the deck. There are plenty of attacks in the deck for pallets. We just didn't draw them, that's all.
do I think of the new peak button? Um, I am like never ever going to use it unless it gets a hotkey attached to it. But it seems like a nice thing to have once it has a hotkey attached to it. Cool, good fight. I won. It's got a hotkey now, space bar. Alright, cool. Perfect. I didn't know that. I have to get used to using the hotkey, apparently. Space bar. Oh, damn. Awesome. Cool. Time Eater is much easier for us than Awakened One. to draw well-laid plans. It needs to say that it's spacebar. It's not in the settings anywhere. Weird that spacebar doesn't show me. My, it's like there are too many layers or something. <laughs> It goes all the way down. I'm assuming that when you're in the screen with the eye, if you mouse over the eye, it tells you. Oh, it actually doesn't. Interesting. Well, none of the hoverovers work in this screen. And these don't work now. Now they work again. That's weird. That's weird. Death Kid and Nix are three months. Ogbo sure to you as well. Good user interface design is a complicated thing. A complicated, complicated thing. I used to think that I would enjoy designing interfaces. Maybe I would. Maybe I'm right. <laughs> Say the Spire devs do try. Yeah, I think that there are games which like don't have anybody who's working on the interface at all, and like you can tell, and it's sort of awkward. But Slay the Spire is not one of those games. The devs do definitely give it a shot. Will there be four keys with the watcher? I think the plan is for there to still just be three keys. That's a bit of an ouch. Yeah. Oh well. Hey, Lynx.
I think back when I thought that I would enjoy user interface design, I did not realize quite how hard it actually is. It's really hard. I spend a lot of time as a poker player setting stuff up the way that I liked it. And so I'm relatively good at setting up interfaces to show information and stuff in a way that I find readable. But there's like another step where you have to make it so other people will as well. That part's like, like wow. That requires actual magic or something. Uh, so the plan for the heart fight is make 200 poison and play two wraith form pluses. I feel like calculated gamble is better at doing that than leg sweep. Pretty sure that calculated gamble is the one we want there. Do I have a frozen eye? No. That was a different run. Okay. But I do want this. This is nine cards, so I can play the back foot. All right, well laid plans is awesome. So is Wraith form. I think we won. We gotta make some poison. We do have to make some poison. I think we're in pretty good shape here. The catalysts in discard pile. Yeah, we can get them again. That was a good scalp scratch. All right, returning, <laughs> returning to scheduled programming. Um, let's go double wraith form defend, I think. We cannot burst powers, burst is for skills. It's taking us a while. Definitely taking us a while. And I don't have a piercing whale. Two catalysts. One catalyst. So burst plus crippling cloud. Eh, deadly poison first, right? Deadly poison, burst plus, two crippling clouds, two catalysts. and turn until I win. I wonder if 4934 is my fastest ever silent run. For a heart kill, I mean. That's really fast for me. Not necessarily fast for other people, but that's like really fast for me. I think most of my silent wins involve catalyst and intangible. Oh. 
the card that triples your damage and the card that makes it impossible for you to take damage. I wonder... I wonder why those cards would feature commonly in winning decks. Forty-nine thirty-four. That one was under an hour. What? This is impossible. Oh, that's Ascension 1. Fifty-three. Fifty-eight. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Is that the overexplain? That's probably the overexplain. Unless this one is. Four hours, 52 minutes. That's probably a run where I, like, did something else halfway through the run and then came back to it. Yeah, I, I think that 49's my fastest. 51. I'm a speed demon. Incredible. 